Good morning, good morning. This is Coach Lance here from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Welcome to six days of Tusker Strong. Well, for the next six days, I'm going to walk you through what a typical week of Tusker Strong is all about. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice is not 100%. Uh, it was with the OGs of Somers, New York for the last few days. So we had a few nights of late nights and a few drinks, if you know what I'm saying. So uh, can't wait to show you guys the next six days what a Tusker Strong week will typically look like. I want to show real quick for those who watch this after live. This is what in this particular block of time Tusker Strong will be working through. We're going to be going through a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday through Saturday. You'll also notice I'll be sharing with you what the actual proposed intensity should be so that as you go through these workouts, you should be asking yourself on a one to 10 or in this case, a two to five scale, where do you actually sit? Okay. So again, that's hopefully something that will make sense. Uh, you can press pause, go back, look at this and kind of review, am I a two or am I a five today? And we should be adjusting load perhaps as well as rep scheme to make sure you're matching that intensity. For today, this will be our primary workout. We'll be working through a pull-up, a swing, and a jump rope 30-minute EMOM. Uh, where we're doing, as the, the screen shows, one pull-up, one swing, 10 jump ropes. Again, that's in a 10-minute block. Doing a double kettlebell swing with a 53-pound bell, double 53. All right. Uh, won't have much time for interaction today, but just know that I will be posting this after live, by all means, let me know where you're watching from. Uh, again, not a warm up, full disclosure, I do 20 minutes in the sauna at 200 degrees, and then I get right to it. All right, guys, so here's that workout again. We're going to work through it together. I'll get this timer started, and we're going to have a blast. All right. Always know, always know, all of these workouts are very scalable. If you're brand new to exercise, if you're absolutely brand new to it, maybe you're just going to do the swing. And that's all you're going to do. We'll do one swing uh, within a, a one minute time slot or EMON or every, every minute on the minute. Uh, and that's all you do, right? And then so for 30 minutes, all you would do is 30 swings, right? Or maybe you're building your pull up strength. You can do it that way too. All right, guys, we're going to get going here, get that uh, timer started. Again, one pull up, one swing, 10 jump rows. Okay, guys, taking off in 30 seconds. Can't wait to share this time with you again. Always know everything that we're doing is scalable. You could theoretically just do the jump rope, take the pull out, pull ups out, take the swings out. All depends on where you're starting from. Essentially about 20 seconds of work, 20 seconds of work. Uh, as we work into this, you get a little, little bit more intense, but overall on a one to 10 scale, using a one to 10 scale, which might be a little bit easier for some, you're looking at probably a three or maybe a four for this particular day. Double kettlebell swings, guys. Make sure that stance is slightly wider than normal. From start to finish, it should still be essentially closer to a one-to-one -one ratio. 
uh, adjust again as, as needed to meet that time constraint. Okay, meet those time constraints. And match what your intensity or your fitness level is. If you want, all, by all means, you're trying to build your ability to do double unders as well. You know that you can start to incorporate a double under on the back end, okay? Again, it should start off real easy. It's not until about 20 minutes in do you start to feel like you're challenged with this specific workout. Also with the pull-ups, guys, I haven't mentioned it, but try to think more of a hollow hold where you're thinking tight, full tension body, uh, as if you're doing a crunch. Creating like that board effect. You're finding some value in this workout. If you are, by all means, press that like button. It's mean a lot. The program is growing, and I really appreciate it. So thanks for the support. If you've been following the channel, I really do appreciate your support. Uh, we're only going to keep getting stronger, get, getting better. Okay, guys, seven rounds in the books, 23 rounds to go. 
22 rounds to go. I'm seeing 124 on the heart rate. As noted, super easy start. It's not until the last 10 minutes that you start to feel it. Or that we should feel it. Okay, last two rounds and we jump the bell size. If you're still developing your kettlebell swing and your kettlebell capacity, just stay at the same kettlebell, kettlebell size from start to finish. That's another way to scale that. Okay, guys, last minute. And then again, if you'd like, and you can, by all means, increase spell size. Okay, I'm going to be going to the 62, double 62. Then those who are able, as noted, increase bell size. I want 53, double, double 53, now to double 62. Same mindset, we'll be doing two pulls, two swings, 20 jump rope. Love it, Ed. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you from Mexico. Again, as noted, if you're just jumping in, the first 20 minutes are designed to be pretty darn easy. On a zero to five scale, it's probably like a one. until we get into round 15 to 20 do we start to really feel like we're cranking.
as a reference point for what it's worth. I'm at 134. So it's a much lower intensity effort than other workouts. I try to hit a 30 second on, 30 second off, kind of one-to-one -one mindset for this workout, especially on the very front end, those first 10 minutes. As I always preach to the Tusker Strong herd, every day is not a red liner kind of day. It cannot be that way if you want to sustain this output for life. Okay, we're nearing that halfway mark. You now 14 rounds in of 30. It's important to ease into the week, right? Ease into the week. Here we go. friends halfway through it halfway through it round 16 coming up round 16 coming up Feels like a lot of rest as as designed. As designed.
Sorry, fellas. Totally blank. Probably even see me there. My apologies. Well, the good news to getting is good now. This is when we're going to maybe start to just ever so slightly twist that dial, twist that knob for the intensity piece. Still on the one to 10, this is like a two to a three. Okay, friends, we're now working on to round 19, round 19 of 30. Guys, last round. We then increase to a three, three, and thirty to challenge us just a little bit on this Monday. All right, friends, last 10 minutes. Last 10 minutes. Increase bell size if you are able, as noted on the very front end. So you might be easing into this fitness thing. You could easily do one by one by 10 for the entire duration of the workout. If you're new to fitness, okay? Three reps. Swings. Thirty singles. reference. I'm humming at 152. This is the last 10 minutes, but we'll start to feel like we're working a little bit. Okay, the last 10 minutes.
Good work, friends. Good work. Okay, last 10 minutes once again is the, the, the window within this workout where you'll start to feel like you're probably working. Okay, here we go. Tomorrow we'll be focused on a deadlift, back squat, strength 2.4, utilizing once again a 10RM, 10RM, 10 rep max mindset. We're about two weeks out, two to three weeks out from the, the next 10RM test day. All right, last five rounds. Last five rounds. Again, as I was saying, we'll, tomorrow will be a 10 RM dead, deadlift back squat day, strength 2.4. It's one of my favorite days. We need a lot of load on our system. Friends, last four rounds, last four minutes.
158 it's the kind of intensity that I am seeing like I said again last 10 minutes are usually the hardest Okay, friends, last two minutes. As I was trying to say, tomorrow will be a deadlift back squat day. Strength 2.4 using a 10 RM mindset versus a 1 RM mindset. guys last minute for this first day one of six days of Tusker Strong looking forward to spending this time with you we're only gonna get stronger friends only gonna get stronger last minute last minute Again, one of the primary goals of Tusker Strong is to keep your body guessing. Avoid kind of the same work at all the time. So those of you who hang with me for the next six days will find every day is going to be a little bit different. There will be definitely a heavy emphasis on kettlebell. We'll be doing a lot of calisthenic work. Jumping rope is always part of the mix. All right, friends, thanks so much for spending this uh, first day one with me. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow again that we'll be doing a deadlift back squat day using varying loads, varying depths to keep that body guessing. Okay, guys, happy October 21st. I'll see you tomorrow. Try to be there at 530. We'll keep things real. All right, friends, stay strong. Stay Tusker strong. Oh, I love it. No, I don't skateboard, brother. I actually skateboard. I'm nothing like Tony Hawk. All right, guys, stay strong. Stay Tusker Shown.